Hello and welcome to another episode in the Essential series. In this video we will explore how Color Finality Pro can be used to color grade travel videos. We will match different cameras and apply certain looks that fit our story. When I travel, I often end up taking more than just one camera. For this trip, I had a Panasonic Lumix GH5 and a DJI Mavic 2 Pro with me. Drone shots always tend to look great, but it's important to complement them with footage taken from the ground, otherwise the viewer can get bored of similar looking shots. Anyway, let's begin. I will apply Color Finale 2 Pro to the clips and start balancing their brightness. This video was shot in HLG Color Profile, which is a high dynamic range format, but for the output format, I will use the standard dynamic range and the Rec 709 color space. Because I am in SDR, the project material looks overexposed. This is expected. It's convenient for me to work this way as the timeline is set to the output format that I need. And what I see by the end is what I will get in the export. To help me know exactly what I'm doing with the image, I'll turn on the scopes. I use a waveform monitor in the RGB parade mode so that I can see the levels of each color channel. The HLG footage looks very bright as we are in a SDR project. Let's use the exposure slider to decrease the brightness. It will stop at minus 3, but I need to lower the brightness even more. In addition, the exposure control affects all the tonal ranges, highlights, midtones and shadows. I want to lower only the highlights, so I'll head over to the edit layers and add a color wheels layer. Here I can lower the highlights a lot. I lower them until the top points on the waveform drop below 100. It's much better this way. Now let's lower the shadows a little and raise the midtones, otherwise the image looks too dark. Let's correct the highlights and now we can work on the contrast with a contrast slider. Let's adjust the pivot so the image becomes lighter. I like to use a contrast slider. In some cases it helps achieve the desired look faster compared to using color wheels or curves. I like the result. Now let's copy the effect over to the next clip. It looks good, but too dark. So let's increase the brightness. As you can see, the sky is now overexposed, so we need to bring the details back to it. To do this, I will use a brightness mask. Adding another color wheels layer, I lower the brightness and add an image mask. I adjust the input level and blur the mask a little bit to soften the borders. Let's do the same with the next clips. It will not be possible to restore the entire sky here since the original footage is overexposed. Now let's take a look at the shot from the ground. It was also filmed in HLG, so I need to match the brightness of these shots. Let's see what happens if we copy the correction from the first clip. It's too dark. I'm happy to leave the brightness of the water as it was originally, but the sky needs to be darker. Since the sky has a simple edge, Let's use a regular rectangular mask with a soft border, as if I used a gradient filter on the lens while filming. We have a panoramic shot from right to left, the mask stays in place over the sky and everything looks great. How can we improve this shot? Let's make the water more blue. For this, we will use the color wheels again and add another rectangular mask. We can adjust the midtones towards blue and bring back the shadows to a neutral color, moving the shadows wheel in the opposite direction from blue. Let's look at the next clip. I copy the settings from the previous one and adjust them. The water is even more blue in this shot. To match these frames to each other, we will use the comparison viewer. Let's add more saturation to the previous frame and maybe even lower the saturation here. Let's fix the contrast and we are done. Now let's grade the last shot using the same techniques. When we have balanced all the shots as we like, 
Let's go through the entire timeline with the comparison viewer still open to really make sure that the shots match in the way we want. We will be comparing waveforms and using the color wheels. Afterwards, we can work on a look that will affect all the clips on the timeline. We can use groups to change the color of multiple clips at once. Watch our Essential Series video on groups to find out more about this feature of Color Finale 2 Pro. I'll start by creating a look on one clip. Now I create a group with these settings, call it Summer, and apply it to all the clips on the timeline. We can just as easily try out another look. Let's create something with a lot of contrast. To do this, I'll create a new group, add contrast, and lower the saturation. If I add a lot of blue, we are close to turning day into night, but since the sun is in the shots, we aren't able to do a convincing night scene. So let's instead experiment by going into the yellow tones. Here the effect is too strong, but if we use the exposure control in the inspector, rather than adjusting the brightness in the layers, we won't be affecting the rest of the clips inside the group. This look might seem a bit odd here, but if we watch the whole sequence it is quite interesting. We can repeat these steps for the rest of the clips. Here is a final video. With color grading in Color Finale 2 Pro, you can experiment with a limitless number of looks to find the one that best suits the story you are telling in your videos. You can try Color Finale 2 Pro for free with a 7 day trial and if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Thank you.